What's up everybody? So today we're reacting to most terrifying military uniforms. Uh, this is by The Riches. Um, very similar to the last video, reaction video I did, or one of the previous ones where it was reacting to futuristic kind of military uniforms. This is the most terrifying, so kind of excited to get into this and see what it's going to say. Um, wondering if it's going to repeat any of the ones that we already know about. Uh, but yeah, before we get into that, as per usual, I want to give a huge shout out to all of these amazing people. These are my members. If it wasn't for these guys, I wouldn't be making videos every single day. So guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're all amazing. I love you all so much. Um, if you're a member and you're not part of Discord yet, link down below. And if you're not a member and you fancy a bit of a chinwag anyway, link down below, join the Discord. Down there, you will find all my socials to Instagram, Twitter, website, Discord, merch, and my Twitch. Go and check out my Twitch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I will also be streaming um, today, Thursday the 11th, for the live PlayStation stream at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Very excited for that. But you should join the Twitch streams anyway. I had a lot of fun the other day, and we won three games of Warzone the first time on the stream. It was amazing. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Uh, let me just uh, pull up this video. And let me move to the side so you can see me, Big Ed. All right, there we go. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch this. Okay. As go. technology evolves, armies around the world look at how they can provide better protection for their... Hold on a second. First and foremost, who got the crap job of having to walk through fire? As technology evolves, armies around the... Who was pinged for that? Some Someone came into the office and were like, guys, we need one of you. They're all like, what for? And they'd be like, you're going to walk through fire. The world look at how they can provide better protection <laughs> for their soldiers. As such, various oh, nations will plow as much that. money as they can into their research and development teams. All so they can have access to better and more reliable equipment and okay. uniforms. Anything that can give their nation the upper hand in battle. Okay. Today, we're going to look at some of the most impressive technology used in armies across the globe. Either right Whoa, now it's or Harry in the Potter. near future. Let's that was Harry Potter. He's got his invisibility cloak. In armies across this the guy. globe. This guy. Harry Either Potter. right now or in the very near <laughs> future. Let's get started. In 2015, the British government announced a mass upgrade to their army's uniforms. They felt it was time to materialize the best technology into their infantries. It's due to be implemented the at some point during the 2020s, the called the Future Soldier Vision, or FSV. The design was created in a joint effort between the... Okay, look at this. There is no way you can make an SA-80 look futuristic. Guys, just give up on this rifle. Give up on it. Let's get a new one. It's old. It's old. Let's give up on it. Look at that. Trying to make... You can't polish a turd, right? They're trying to polish a turd right here. It's always going to be a turd. Systems Engineering and Assessments Team, as well as the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. Part of the uniform is a high-tech watch. It allows the was soldier that... to... I'm sorry I keep stopping this, but was that a sticker? As well as the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. Part of the uniform is a high-tech watch. <laughs> what was that? That's like a kid's toy. <laughs> <laughs> it allows the soldier to clearly communicate from the battlefield. It also provides their superiors with up-to-date biometric data, not unlike most smartwatches on the market. The helmet will feature smart glass. <laughs> Look at that helmet cocked to the side. Oh, guys, I don't know if I can watch this video. I don't know if I can watch this With video. a heads-up display. Look at that From sticker there, on his the lens. officers can provide the soldiers with new information instantaneously. The helmet also features a camera to show others what's happening on the battlefield as well as sensors Why to is he highlight flying, what is, is in their environment. The helmet also has earphones to protect the soldiers from loud noises. It also allows soldiers to easily hear any instructions. Weapons will also be customized to allow soldiers to share information regarding targets with their unit. In 2019, the world's media began to panic as the Russian army began to test their new defensive weapon in the Gulf of Finland. Known as the 5P-42 Phylon, this machine is a non-lethal protection system. It fires out an incredibly strong strobe light that hinders the aim and targeting abilities of the enemy. The creators, JS... I thought this was military uniforms. What's this got to do with military uniforms? Rus Electronics have stated that the Phylon has the potential to lower the enemy's aim by between 300 to 500 percent. However, most of the information provided comes from Russian state-owned sources. One of those sources has said that the Phylon is capable of, quote, 
blinding night vision equipment and scopes within a 3.1 mile range, and blinding or disorienting enemy troops within 1.24 miles. At this time, the Phylon seems to only work at night. However, the manufacturers are currently developing a system that can work during the day. That's Beyond not disrupting uniform. enemy aim, it also has a curious side effect. It induced nausea and disorientation in 45% of the volunteers that were exposed to the flashing light. At times, it even caused hallucinations. So far, two warships have been fitted with the device. However, the plan is to mass-produce the Phylon for all ships, as well as develop a similar smaller version for ground troops. Okay, for so over that must a be decade, the uniform part. The US military has well, been that, developing the modular advanced... That whole section then was nothing to do with military uniforms. Hmm, interesting. Advanced armed robotic system, or this, MAR. This is also not a uniform. Mars robot with the Quinetique group. This device is remotely controlled by a human up to 3,300 feet away. It's meant to provide support to the ground in Switch. various ways. The Mars robot is capable of speeds of up to 7 miles per hour, with a battery that allows it to work for up to 12 hours consistently, it's or a, a whole week boy. on sleep mode. Yeah. It's equipped with a 360 degree rotating turret and a grenade launcher. It can hold 450 rounds of ammo and four grenades. Okay. Those can also be switched out with non-lethal options. The Mars robot also has sensors with a thermal camera. On top of this, the robot was designed to help drag injured soldiers. One second, what weapon is that? Interesting, looks like a GPMG of some sort. The robot was designed to help drag injured soldiers away from danger. <laughs> Oh, In 2019, soldiers. the Chinese Academy Again, of Science that wasn't a uniform. What is this video? <laughs> ...announced the creation of a new invention, a handheld sonic weapon. Its development was a joint operation between the Chinese military and their police force. This rifle-shaped device is a non-lethal weapon created to aid in dispersing crowds. It fires out a focused, low-frequency sound at the target. That noise causes the person extreme discomfort as their eyes, eardrums, and brain vibrate in a distressing fashion. Other organs can also feel the uncomfortable vibrating. Once the person is out of range, they shouldn't feel the effects for much longer. Previously, many of the sonic weapons around were large and cumbersome, so much so that they had to be mounted Whoa, on top look at that of thick boy. for use. The handheld look at that thick boy, look at that! <laughs> Jeez, I thought I saw something like that at a concert once. <laughs> ...be mounted on top of vehicles for use. The handheld variation is powered by a tube-shaped vessel that contains an inert gas. As the gas is heated, the harsh sound is created and channeled towards the target. The device Whoa. has recently been given the go-ahead to be mass-produced. It's not often that items in the Harry Potter franchise could mirror real life, yet we could get to see an invisibility cloak soon. The Canadian development team... I literally called it. I literally said that guy was Harry Potter at the start, didn't I? I literally said it. That's awesome. Super stealth biotechnology patterned their ingenious That's material really in cool. 2019. For years, the group have been working on a material that could cause an item wrapped in it to appear invisible. It even removes the concealed object's shadow. With the military in mind, the team created the quantum steel material to wow. conceal agents, vehicles, and equipment <laughs> in the field. The QSM can also hide objects from infrared and ultraviolet imagers. The material works by bending light around a target to hide its location. The material is made from lenticular lenses. This is an array of magnifying lenses that are designed to change the appearance of the object depending on where the viewer is standing. So light is only allowed through certain points. The QSM is said to be easy and cheap to create, which- Damn, that is so cool. That's a that's a something very impressive and could potentially be a game changer if that's the case, because that's fantastic. Of course, attracts many militaries across the world. Beyond that, the QSM has been shown to help triple the light absorbed by solar panels. Wow! During 2017, the world was left with its mouth open as a viral video spread on the this internet. Guy. In the video, Our Russian girl. stunt woman Victoria yeah. Kolesnikova walks nonchalantly through fire and explosions. But fear not, the suit she's wearing is said to be explosion proof. It was created by manufacturers Tisnitok Mash. No, as thank a demonstration you. Of their Look at that, she doesn't give it any worries about doing this. Fear not, this. the suit she's wearing is said to be explosion proof. It was created by oh, manufacturers Tisnitok Mash as a demonstration of their advanced Aramid fabric. The group specializes in creating various tactical equipment for the Russian army. One of the suit's creators, 
Sergei Kitov stated that the suit can withstand fire. Sergei Kitov. I was hoping they'd keep the kit on. Hey. Sergei Kitov. I shouldn't do that. That's that mean. The suit can withstand fire. Well, having a name like Kitov when you're making military kit. It's kind of funny. I'm explosion. sorry, he's probably a really nice guy. So the guy. company asked Kolesnikova to wear the suit and walk through a mine. Ah, oh, you're going to have some we guts to do that. explosions and clouds of flames engulf Kolesnikova. Yet she keeps walking as though she's strolling through the park on a Sunday morning during spring. Afterwards, she removes her mask to show that her face is covered with residue from the explosions. But beyond that, she's perfectly fine. Afterwards, Kolesnikova was interviewed and she stated that she was comfortable in the suit and the situation. The suit even had protection that made sure her ears weren't damaged from the explosion. No, thank you. By the you. end of 2020, the suit should be ready for military bids. Negative. While the thought of a third arm may excite or distress people, U.S. Army soldiers may soon have an Love extra limb to ball. aid them in battle. Known as the... Look at that. <laughs> Why'd you put it there? Third Arm Weapon Interface System. It was first <laughs> developed in 2016 by the U.S. Army's Research Laboratory. The purpose of the device is to help redistribute the weight of heavy weapons and take... That just looks like a monitor stand. It literally just looks like a monitor stand. And someone's just attached it to the rifle. Get away from the soldier's arms. Right now, soldiers aren't able to hold on to heavy weapons for too long due to muscle fatigue. The third arm device only weighs four pounds. It's made from a carbon fiber composite to not only keep it strong, but to make it lighter as well. Okay, but what happens if you need to change weapons quick? Is this gonna is this gonna drop down quick enough for you to be able to pull a handgun up and put it in front of you? You know? Um, it's a good idea in theory, but in practice, I'm not sure whether it'd be as good. Because like, if you let go of this bottom part of the rifle here, and this swings up and whacks you in the face when you're trying to change weapons. I don't know about this. It's then attached to a carbon fiber plate that fits into the armor plate pocket on the uniform. The arm itself is then attached to the weapon's Picatinny rail. The third arm does not require a battery, so it can constantly keep operating. It's been designed to not hinder the soldier's range of movement. Due to its stabilization abilities, it can also aid a soldier's marksmanship as they quickly aim their firearm. At the moment, it's still being tested, but it may not be too long until the U.S. deploy their troops with a third arm. Mm -hmm. In 2019, French engineering school IMT Atlantique announced the creation of an autonomous contact lens. In their Ooh. press release, they stated that the lens is Quote, the first standalone contact lens with a flexible micro battery, end quote. The battery can power the LED for several hours. The lenses are said to be able to track the health of the wearer. With the liquid that's secreted from the eyes, the device can register the sugar levels in their system, which could be vital to those with diabetes. Okay, this is a good idea. Um, but when you're in the field, I don't think this would be that practical because... You know, hygiene's important and maintaining this kit and putting stuff in your eyes all the time. You know, I don't know if that's going to be something that's viable for a long, sustainable times in, in the field. Um, also, I don't think the technologies are that far, like, that, you know, good yet. It probably is, but it's not good enough to, like, I don't know, to be able to keep it in for a long period of time with the battery staying going and all that jazz. I don't know. I'm doubtful on this one for at least a while. It can also register the fatigue and stress of the wearer and relay that information elsewhere, such as a commanding officer if a soldier was wearing the device. On top of this, the lens can aid in tracking the wearer's gaze. A similar technology is used in virtual reality headsets. It's also believed that the lens could improve the eyesight of the wearer. The prototype is even thought of as opening the door to further human augmentation through technology. All these factors have made the world's militaries take notice of the new prototype. Beyond the realms of its military applications, it can also track the health of and assist surgeons and drivers. Hmm. Testing begins this year. Ever since nations first created armies, they've always looked for a way to enhance their soldiers with technology. Recently, that has come in the form of exoskeletons. Let's have a look at that. So we've seen something like this before. I like that it, it it looks like it's around his hips, but it's also supporting his Bergen, which is really cool because obviously that usually has a lot of weight. If you can imagine all your rations, your spare clothing, sleeping equipment, survival equipment, ammo, spare barrels, comms equipment. It, it gets heavy quick. So for it to support, that's pretty cool. 
many of which haven't lasted too long in development, but each time they've encouraged further research into the possibility. One in development is known as the Human Universal Load Carrier, or HULC. This device was announced publicly by Esco Bionics and Lockheed Martin in 2009. It's a hydraulic, power-based exoskeleton that's based on the lower limbs. It allows its wearer to carry loads of up to 200 pounds without any worry of injury. The cool. HULC transfers the weight into... Until it runs out of battery and all of a sudden you're walking down the street and all of a sudden whoosh! Because you just ran out of battery and it's taken all the weight off. ...the ground through the shoes of the exoskeleton. It bypasses the wearer's capabilities completely. The battery is said to continuously last up to 96 hours in the oh, field. Oh, that's it a long time. It uses motion sensors and a computer chip to detect the movement of the wearer and move accordingly. It has a speed of almost 7 miles per hour over long distances. But for short bursts, it can reach almost 10 miles per hour. Damn. It has the attachments of armor and cooling and heating systems. It's also claimed that it can be taken off in just 30 seconds. Oh, that's cool. Since 2000... That's, that's my biggest concern with, with extra technology like that is how sustainable it'll be if it runs out of battery or if you're, in a, if you're in a situation where you need to get it off quick. That's important. And if you remember when I watched the other video about um, military uniforms, like a lot of that's very bulky and I very, I very much doubt you can take that off quickly. Uh, but you need to be able to remove stuff like that quickly if it's not working or it's not helping you so that's cool 30 seconds nate the exacto bullet has been in development for the u.s defense department's defense advanced research project agency the teams behind this highly advanced bullet are lockheed martin and teledyne technologies much of the specifications for the exacto are classified however we do know that the 50 caliber bullet employs something called fire and forget technologies essentially this is a type of guidance system that doesn't require any guidance once the weapon has been fired at a target. Wow. The word EXACTO is an acronym for Extreme Accuracy Test Ordinance. That's pretty the cool. The DARPA have stated that the bullet is able to, quote, change path during flight to compensate for Sheesh. any unexpected factors that may drive it off course, end quote. During 2008, when the bullet was first being developed, the U.S. Army was deployed in the Middle East. Okay, before before he talks more about that, I'm wondering more about like um, the expense. How much of these rounds going to cost? Like a single round, because it's probably going to be very expensive. Visions of strong winds and sand meant snipers struggled to hit their moving targets. The Exacto bullets take the harsh conditions in their stride and accommodate. In videos released by the DARP, that's really cool. We can see the bullet changing course during its flight that in really order cool. to strike the moving target. Even an untrained sniper was able to easily hit the board. That's really cool. And that's it. Which of these entries impressed you the most? Do you know of any other cool equipment and gadgets that's in an army now or will be in the future? Pop your... All right, I'm going to end it there. So I think the one that really did impress me the most was the invisibility cloak. I think that's something that can be really well utilized in the future. Um, I think it's something that... that honestly could be a game changer on the battlefield if it works as well as it does the only concern is making sure you know where your oppos are and where like friendly friendlies are but other than that 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 seems more like the game changer because it's very simple it's just a f like some sort of fabric or material if i remember um and it's, that's it there's no battery needed there's no excess bulk nothing so that's really, really cool if that's the case. Um, so yeah, that's that video. I'm going to end it there. Um, again, I just want to show everyone these amazing people right here. These are my members. Guys, thank you for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Down below, you'll find the links to all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, website, Discord, merch, and my Twitch stream. If you're watching this the day it's been released, which will be Thursday the 11th, um, you will notice that I will be on Twitch this afternoon watching the live PlayStation presentation. So go and check that out, and I will see you there. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.